Hello everyone, I'm Yong, student from University of Utala, Malaysia. Today with us here is the founder of Starbay International, Annie Ng. Welcome Annie. We are very grateful that we get to invite you mm. <laughs> to, the, to the show, to the interview. Mm. Okay. So without delay, let us begin with the interview. Sure, sure. Okay. My pleasure. So the very first question, um, can you let, uh, tell us how long have Starbay International, International have been established? Mm, we are actually established more than 10 years More than 10 mm. years, okay yeah. So now, um, maybe you can tell us more about the background of Starbay International Like, um, what kind of uh, services will be provided by Starbay International? Mm. Yeah Yeah, at, at first we are start up for We, we are start up for event management mm -hmm. company Okay. Yeah, this is our core business uh, since we start up. Okay. Mm. So back to the very first idea, or where do you get the inspiration for you to create this company? Actually, mm. actually, I love event industry because this this industry is very creative. Then you have a um, more chance to do something that are unbelievable. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now, now that we know that actually there are a lot of types of events mm. around, what are the uh, main focus that Starby International look for when it comes to uh, organize event? Actually, we are focused on uh, almost everything. Uh, since we start up, we have a few contracts mm. from a corporate company. So we provide the services to all those um, uh, trusted uh, corporate Mm. So corporate will be the main focus on uh, telco mm -hmm. and automobile. Then this is all our previous clients and also the sampling brand. Okay. Mm. So um, maybe can you any can you name me several event that previously previously organized by Starbay International? Mm, sure. Yeah. It's about some some like a music showcase mm -hmm. and entertainment and uh, opening, launching of a new business mm. or this uh, anniversary of uh, a company. Okay. Mm, several events then, and then we have uh, some trade show exhibitions like, uh, like that. Okay, so now that we have know well about the company, mm. but maybe we can uh, know more about your background as the founder. Mm. So what is your job scope or what, what kind of role you play in Starbay International? Mm. Yes, I am the founder of Starbay International, but I work as uh, almost everything in, in the field. So I, I need to make sure I know everything, what is going to happen and what is the risk that we will be facing and uh, everything. We need to know how, how to uh, giving a solutions to client and almost everything we need to handle. Okay. But I'm more focusing on management. So you will be involving in management in the company. Yes. Okay. So now uh, back to the main mm. main point or main focus of today's interview. Mm. So let's start with the very first uh, management issue we are going to discuss. Mm. Uh, we are, now we are going to talk about human resource. Mm. Okay. So we know that um, uh, when holding an event, when organizing an event, mm. it involves involve a lot of human resource. Mm. So uh, assume that putting yourself in a situation where the event crew or the special guests that you invite did not appear on time or absent or being late mm. during the event. Uh, what will you do? What kind of solution you will provide? You mean the artist is absent? Yeah, or maybe or, maybe or the speaker, VIP, VIP or speaker. Yeah. Uh, we can't allow these things to be happen. Okay. Unless these uh, kind of people is not suitable in this industry or this okay. platform anymore, because. If let's say this thing is happened to someone that very important mm -hmm. or some VIP, so probably this kind of thing is um, won't be happen because okay. they are uh, they are high profile and then they are uh, very secure uh, about their reputation in in the society. So normally this thing won't be happen unless yeah. something that uh, accidentally happened to yeah. some uh, special yeah. guests. They can't to be present on that day okay. at last minute. Yeah. So uh, we have to find some uh, the solutions. Yeah. 
-hmm. let's say this event is going to be host on on the stage yeah. so you have to find some second solutions so sometimes maybe maybe the founder of the event company also yeah. need to stand up oh, okay. and, and play something nonsense stupid things on the stage so what, <laughs> what you mean is like if it happens that the artist or mm. VIP absent mm. so you might have to replace them yeah yeah go on. immediately oh, okay Mm. Without delay the schedule. Yeah, not uh, not in within twenty four hour, but immediately. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um. So now next question is about human resource. Will be, uh, is there any training or briefing for the crew before the event begins? Uh, of or? course, yeah. this is very important. Okay. So mm. maybe you can tell us all about the process, like for the briefing or training. We will uh, give them training, like mm. for how long and how do you really guide them? to mm. make the event perfect based on the event flow mm -hmm. and the time schedule that uh, it has to be happen so based on that the things nah, so we will separate a few departments if uh, let's say usher usher mm -hmm. uh, usher what they need to wear then what kind of sh uh, shirt or what kind of shoes skirt mini skirt or anything else that they have to wear so there will be a, a uh, uh, this one, a manager or supervisor to supervising them. Mm. Okay. So we need to make sure every department is going smoothly. Then usherer, then host, uh, uh, this one artist, and also dan dancer, mm -hmm. and everything. So we need to briefing separately. Mm. But not in in not but not, not in all group. in the in the group. Oh, yeah. okay. Which means you will be uh, having specified training specified. for specified group okay. yes group and I, w I would not like to say that that was a training mm -hmm. because events is only happen once in your lifetime it is not something like e like a video shooting or something like movie shooting you you have you have ng and card and then you ha have yeah. to uh, play again so yeah. this is not happen in uh, uh, in event industry okay. on stage mm. oh, okay so now let's move to the uh, second mm. management issues uh, we are going to talk about risk management so we all know that uh, when having an event mm. any kind of risks or dangers might just arise mm. during or during the process of the event mm. so maybe you can share with us uh, according to your experience what are the top risks that uh, Starbuck International have faced before this uh, luckily, we yeah. we we are we are uh, not big deal mm -hmm. or not very big uh, risk happen yeah. or let's say uh, some something tough news yeah. from from newspaper you can okay. read about uh, someone is die on your event yeah. or anything. Luckily, these things is uh, never happen to us. Okay, so yet. everything goes smooth. For everything your event. goes very smooth, okay. and I would like to give this glory to God. So I think this industry is very good and if, if, if let's say we have to uh, uh, face the risk mm -hmm. um, but I would like to uh, prepare prepare for a few solutions mm -hmm. um, that for, for all those things that will be uh, happen okay so maybe uh, so anything um, any risk that you, you can think about um, maybe the stage collapse or <sighs> Yeah, something S like serious stage collapse. Okay. Then the company also will collapse. <laughs> okay. So these like things cannot be happen totally okay. cannot. You have to be check, check, double check everything, every okay. nail, every single pin, okay. every single stone, you have to check very properly. Uh. So um, maybe what about the accidents for the audience or artists? Mm, accident. Mm -hmm. So we will make sure they arrive at the event venue one day before and then in the same hotel or, or we, we will going to be prepared uh, in the same venue to, uh, to avoid, all, pr avoid all, all these things that will be going to happen, accident, la, something, they, they were drunk, la, then tomorrow cannot be on the stage, uh, then cannot sing, you know. We cannot let let this thing happen. Okay. So we we must arrange the VIP stay w uh, with us in the mm -hmm. events, and then we make sure they are uh, uh, rehearsal the the time rehearsal they will be a good performance, and uh, and prepare for enough. Okay. Mm. So 
maybe we uh, now we can talk about the venue. Mm. Assuming that you have uh, an outdoor event, mm. so when we are having outdoor event, we know that uh, weather will be the main concern. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Assume that what, suddenly, suddenly there is a rain raining. or storm. So what kind of solution you give for this kind of management issues? Mm. I would suggest one or two weeks before mm-hmm. you check the weather. Okay. Mm. And then let's say it's raining, so you have to find a second solution. But in Malaysia, I know a uh, raining is where you have to you, you can know which month is uh, the season the season yeah. of raining or storm. So you avoid that that date. Mm. So maybe what if you have checked the weather report mm. then and state that it is there sunny is no day. sunny day, but mm. suddenly the rain comes because. Um, even though the report for the weather mm. cannot be like trusted for one hundred percent, yeah. So, is there any situation where outdoor event but there's a rain or Mm-mm. never tried before? I never tried before, okay. but you can see some of the concert. Mm-hmm. Uh, the audience is still there, oh, even, even is raining heavily. Okay. Uh, let's say this is Big Bang. Or any things that uh, you know from Korea pop pop star, so yeah. every everyone is will uh, will still we'll standing willing. there. Okay. Will be there. Mm. Okay. So but as long yeah. as you have to be uh, a rooftop for mm-hmm. for your event stage, so mm-hmm. will prevent the raining to spoil or screw up every uh, all the electrical components. Yep. Mm. Okay. So let's move on to another management issues. Mm. Uh, we are going to talk about the equipment. So um, when having an event, we know that there are like microphones, speakers, mm. or spotlight, mm. all these equipments that require for an event. So how do you, what what will you do in order to avoid situation where all these equipment are not functioning during mm. the day of the event? Make sure, or I will make sure all this equipment is well function during the re- uh, rehearsal okay. or one day before. Everything must be prepared. And then for for those uh, electric city that need some some tools that equipment that needs battery, we will stand by for it. Uh, especially microphone, sometimes you are facing mic problem. Yeah. So we will uh, stand by a few microphone on on the event venue for secure. Okay. So mm. it's all about backup and all about planning yes. before the event. Yes. Okay. So now next uh, next uh, management issue will be about financial management mm. so we all know that budget plays an important role when mm. it comes to an event mm. so any how do you make sure that your event will not go over expenditure for when come to budgeting mm. i will make sure i collect enough money first before i do okay. any events okay mm. so f- uh, for every uh, different client they have mm. their specific budget mm. right yeah maybe you can share some tips about how do you control uh, the things like won't be won't be over budget mm-hmm. yeah. uh, if you say control yeah. but um, sometimes we need to um, request a few quotation okay and then once the quotation is uh, signed and the price is cannot be uh, negotiated anymore with your supplier okay. and then with the client also do the same thing okay but we have a uh, we have some sometimes we need to uh, spend extra for un- very uh, uncertainty event happen. So Starbase International have to pay on their own? Yeah, or? sometimes sometimes we need to. Okay. Mm. So the next thing we are going to talk about is sponsorship. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sponsorship. Yep. So right. what, what are the tips or some advice you can give to us when we come to the process to seek for sponsorships? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are the techniques or how do we, uh, what can we do when we when we wanted to persuade a mm. company or an organization to be the sponsorship of the event, uh, mm. can you name of a kind of uh, sponsorship? Sponsor, maybe uh, Under Armour, mm. or maybe Hundred Plus, or yeah, all those. Assume that uh, for a sport event, mm-hmm. so we are looking for sponsors like Under Armour, Milo, all these kind of. Uh, oh company. yeah, you you mean like uh, this yeah. different kind of sponsors? Something is uh, product sponsoring. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's venue sponsor, yeah. equipment sponsor, yeah. or any other sponsor related to cash. Okay. Mm. Um. Uh. Then we we'll go with the product sponsor. Mm. Yeah. Actually, all those 
a sponsorship, we have the same things mm -hmm. that we what we are going to return to them uh, in win-win situations. Okay. Mm. What makes them willing to sponsor your event and mm, get the things they are need? They need. Uh. So, in order to make them as your sponsorship, you have to know well about mm. what they really want. Mm. If they are going to yes. sponsor your event, what they really need and not um, any things they want, but any things they need. Um, for example, mm -hmm. if a company, they, uh, if you want to organize an event, maybe you need to uh, spend for more than 300,000. Okay. Okay. So today we have an event and if this uh, company is only have to pay 50,000, so they were going to uh, uh, sponsor you. Okay. Mm. If you can convince them, let's say this event actually, uh, for example, this is a concert. So this concert is spending, uh, costing about 300,000. Mm. So you are the main sponsor, then only sponsor 50,000 and then I will make you on the stage or make a, a video for you and your company video is going to uh, publish on screen your logo will be exposure on everywhere so they, they were going to uh, sponsor you because mm -hmm. they, they have uh, everything they need mm -hmm. so I think in, in event uh, we have uh, uh, this one revenue calculation okay. uh, as a PR value yeah yeah so we calculate the PR value for them mm. so which mean before you uh, approach the uh, company or you will, you will do all, all those steps like prepare mm. the, all those the proposal. proposal so yeah. you have to make sure your proposal is sexy enough for them okay attractive enough for them mm. to sponsor you mm. okay so uh, another another question about sponsorship have there been a situation where at first sponsor agrees to sponsor Starby international events mm. but at the end or maybe when uh, about the event to come up Mm. They decided not to sponsor you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, means the cancellation. Cancellation for the, for yeah. the sponsor. Yep. So we have the period for that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we we need to have another solutions. Okay. Mm. Which means you have a fixed period for them to decide mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. confirm whether they mm -hmm. want to sponsor you or not. Yes. Okay. And let's say they agree, but they didn't do it, and then we will find their competitor lah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, um, so first probably I and I, I not yet have this kind of situation yet. Uh, okay, so great to hear that because yeah. Yeah, yeah but you need to be prepared. Sometimes uh, there are someone that they not not say they are uh, not following uh, their promise or what. Sometimes the situations is very tough for them. Yeah. So we also will be understanding, okay. and then we will uh, try to have a negotiations, unless they they are. Uh, not interested with any negotiations or mm -hmm. uh, cancellation then we will need to find another replacement immediately okay mm. so um, that's all about all those uh, all these management issues mm. so come to the very last part of the interview sessions um, any will you what kind of uh, suggestions or advice you will give to us as um, we are the students of uh, event management mm. um, we are going to step into the real world and start to work soon mm. so yeah any tips or advice you will give to us about how to survive in event field. Yeah, actually, I'm very happy today mm -hmm. for you. Everyone's right here right now is for uh, in 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 this event industry. Okay. So this field, this playground is very attractive, okay. and you will get uh, everything you need in this field for your future. So um, prepare for it. And also be tough, uh, and try keep trying, never give up, no matter what things is going to be happen. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Mm. So uh, I guess that's all for today. Thank you very much, Annie, for thank having you. us here. Thank yeah. you very much for the interview. Yeah. And thank you for UUM. 